one mind map is used to explain this heat map analysis in this particular video and if you want to get this mind map you need to download our Shomus biology app from the play store and inside the study material section you can clearly see the mind map for all these videos that we're sharing thank you hello everyone welcome back to another video from Shomus biology in this lecture we are going to talk about systems physiology or animal physiology systems physiology of the animal that is unit 7 as per the old CSI and its syllabus, it was unit 7. As per the new LSBT syllabus, it is still unit 7. Systems Physiology Animal or Animal Physiology. And this is about the heat map analysis of Animal Physiology chapter. So let's look at the mind map. First, we'll talk about the summary of this Animal Physiology or uh, rather I say Human Physiology. Then we'll talk about the high yield topics and uh, the frequency of asking the question repeatedly and we'll solve all this here okay so the summary table that we want to discuss here is the importance level the importance level for this unit 7 human physiology is high the marks range is 18 to 27 so approximately 18 to 25 30 marks question you can get from human physiology reliability for this unit is very high consistently asking question from human physiology in every single session csi net question paper that is fine but the problem here is the probability of the questions the question type changes a lot and that's why it is not that economical. But unit 7, animal physiology or human physiology has an overlap uh, with biochemistry that is unit 1 and applied biology that is unit 12. So it has overlaps between these two chapters. Let's look at the high yield topics uh, from human physiology chapter. Uh, and the high yield topic means the topics were repeatedly asked in CSI net uh, examinations. Nerve impulse transmission, very, very important. So the importance level star rating 5 star out of 5 uh, the focus here for this the type of question is resting potential you need to understand the action potential how action potential originates and propagation of action potential the synapse types are the important topics next topic of importance muscle contraction muscle contraction frequency is 4 star out of 5 which is also very important focus of muscle contraction here is the single filament theory sliding filament theory of muscle contraction where two filaments move uh, and how exactly the intermediate filaments are involved in this process the acting myosin involved in this process of sliding filament theory of uh, the muscle movement next is the calcium's role in muscle contraction and cross bridge cycling of muscle contraction is important uh, and the third topic is cardiovascular system in cardiovascular system frequency is 4 star out of 5 that is also very good uh, in terms of the question paper ECG electrocardiograph the ECG PQRST different different section of the ECG is important what they signify is important cardiac output is an important topic blood pressure regulation is another important topic from cardiovascular system uh, then we have hormonal uh, regulation the hormonal regulation of what hormonal regulation frequency is 4 star out of 5 now the focus of hormonal regulation here is the hypothalamus pituitary axis the HPA hypothalamus pituitary axis is very important insulin and glucagon's role in the process of uh, the regulation the process of uh, basically how exactly it regulates the glucose metabolism in the body that is very important insulin and glucagon feedback loops for all the different hormone release particularly the pituitary gland uh, the anterior and posterior pituitary gland related hormones their uh, secretory functions and how they are regulated is very very important okay that's uh, of a importance uh, level next is the respiratory uh, physiology respiratory physiology frequency is four star out of five uh, the focus here for respiratory physiology is the oxygen dissociation curve now this is kind of merged with unit uh, one biochemistry or uh, because this is from a protein structure hemoglobin structure so Oxygen saturation curve is asked every single year. CO2 transport in the blood is very important. Oxygen transport in the blood is very important. Bore effect and Haldane effect is very important. So this part is asked only, but not the physiological aspect of respiration. Excretory system is also important. In excretory system frequency, three star out of five for the frequency of asking question. Focus on nephron structure. A different structure means glomerulus. Then we have uh, the loop of Henle. Uh, the the the, the descending limb the ascending limb uh, the proximal convoluted tubule the distal convoluted tubule the collecting duct all these structures counter current exchange mechanism of uh, uh, 
uh, this urine generation and formation is also important. That's the excretory system for you. We have thermoregulation. The thermoregulation that we have frequency two star out of five. The thermoregulation. The focus for that is uh, the we have two different like poikilotherms and homo. Uh, therms, homeotherms and poikilotherms. The difference between these poikilotherms and uh, homeotherms, how exactly the endotherms, exotherms work, how they regulate their body temperatures there. But the, the frequency of asking question is relatively low. Physiological responses to regulate the thermal regulation is out there, but the frequency is very low. Two star out of five is very low. So that concludes our understanding of all the important topics uh, with the frequency of asking in the past few CSI net exam question papers. So these are the high topics that you can prepare for the upcoming examination as well. So that's the heat map analysis for human physiology or animal physiology for you. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. And if you wish to join our coaching, or if you want to buy our study material or if you want to join our mock test series, then contact the given number here in this video 9804654228 or visit our website www.shomusbiology.com or download our app Shomus Biology from the Play Store. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.